Hi, I'm Aiden, and I'm going to tell you about the Latuya-based tsunami of July 9, 1958. This is a picture of Latuya Bay where this tragic event happened. The mega tsunami was taller than the Empire State Building, reaching a total of 1,720 feet high or 516 meters. A mega tsunami is a wave that is much higher than an original tsunami and takes out everything in its path. It started when a large 7.9 earthquake along the Fairweather Fault struck southeastern Alaska. The Fairweather Fault is west of St. Elias Mountains and is still active today. The earthquake also caused 30 million cubic meters of rock to fall into the ocean. The wave spread across Latuya Bay, wiping out everything in its path. There weren't any known houses in Latuya Bay, so there wasn't a lot of serious damage. Only five people died from this event, with two being killed on Kontok Island and two people drowning with their boat in the bay. This is an eyewitness account of Bill and Vivian Swanson while they were on their boat. With the first jolt, I tumbled out of the bunk and looked toward the head of the bay where all the noise was coming from. The mountains were shaking something awful, with slide of rock and snow, but what I noticed mostly was the glacier, the North Glacier, the one they call Latuya Glacier. I know you can't ordinarily see that glacier from where I was anchored. People shake their heads when I tell them I saw it that night. I can't help it if they don't believe me. I know the glacier is hidden by the point where you're in Anchorage Cove, but I know what I saw that night too. The glacier had risen in the air and moving forward, so it was in sight. It must have risen 700 feet. I don't mean it was just hanging in the air. It seems to be solid, but it was jumping and shaking like crazy. Big chunks of ice were falling off of the face of it and down into the water. That was six miles away, and they still looked like big chunks. They came off of the glacier like a big load of rocks spilling out of a dump truck. That went on for a little while. It's hard to tell just how long. And then suddenly, the glacier dropped back out of sight when there was a big wall of water going over the point. The wave started for us right after that, and I was too busy to tell what else was happening up there. The rock slide occurred along the eastern wall of the Giblet Inlet. The mass of rocks striking the surface of the bay created a giant splash which sent water surging to a height of 1,720 feet across the point opposite the inlet. The initial seat of water stripped all vegetation from the point, leaving a bare rock face, which shows up nicely on the map above. The, in addition to this initial splash, the rock slide also sent a giant local tsunami sweeping across the bay. I witnessed accounts from the, from the few unfortunate boaters who happened to be anchored in the bay for night state that the wave was at least 100 feet tall at its maximum height near the head of the bay. Two of these boaters were killed by the wave, making a run for open water. The rest amazingly survived. The tsunami initiated approximately five square miles of land along the shores of Latuya Bay, sending water as far as 3,600 feet inland and clearing millions of trees. Thank you for watching.